Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Before we get right into it, I have a small announcement here that I like to make, and it's regarding the format of the readings that uh, I'll be delivering specifically for the mid portion of the month. So this reading that we're getting into now pertains to the first to the 15th approximately, and I generally have available um, on this channel a, a reading for the 15th to the 30th. Okay, so the way that I want to do it this month is I want to give the bulk of my time and my energy to the mid-monthly general readings. So that requires of me to reduce the amount of time and energy that I put into the private services that I offer, okay, private readings and things like that. So to do that, I've decided to um, form a subscription base for this mid-monthly reading, okay, that I'll be offering for all the signs around the 11th of October. So um, you can feel free to sign up for that mid-monthly reading to gain access um, once this video goes live. So right, watching this, um, you can click the link below in the description box um, that I provide, and that will link you to where you can um, save save access to this mid-monthly reading. The price will be set at 222, okay? And all readings will be delivered to everyone who signs up on the 11th okay of october so you'll get it just just before the 15th of october beginning the cycle to the second half of the month otherwise thank you so very much for tuning in everyone um and enjoy this first half of the month reading bye hi there libra thank you so very much for tuning in this is your october reading beginning october reading it will roughly span the first of the 15th of the month of course the energy is fluid so it may permeate a little before the first a little after the 15th nonetheless libra i was getting i was meditating on your energy before i turned the camera and i was getting this emphasis on um vocalization okay so i'm getting that you're very vocal during this time very 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 vocal during this time and it's almost to the point where you're like the emphasis is to be vocal the emphasis is to speak about it, whatever it may be to you in a certain way, and what comes of that, right? what that may mean to others, will be, will be. And so you're, you're just accepting that. Son of Cups, okay, in reverse here, or horizontally laid rather, as it swims almost downstream into the future. And the Son of Cups, right, speaks to the water element. There may be, um, uh, if, if you are, uh, uh, if you have, water prominently placed in your chart this may be speaking to your own energy okay and it may be communicating about matters of, of the of, of how we emotionally identify with ourselves okay and so whatever i'm getting whatever it is that this this profession may be in a certain way it's the mark of a new beginning absolutely and i'm hearing scorpio for you okay um it's the mark of a new beginning libra and it you have the son of cups mirroring the fool who which um sits right over the mother of cups which is who is fanning okay over to the moon lots of water here for you a tremendous focus on emotions on the intuition on intuiting before stepping into this new beginning. So you have the Daughter of Cups that sits right beneath the moon. There is this a connection here between the Mother of Cups and the Mother and the, and the Daughter of Cups and the moon that uh, faces this Daughter of Cups. Very interesting. Okay, I'm getting though specifically that a Scorpio may be involved. Um, let us uh, keep these cards here and uh, simultaneously um, I'm here to pursue the rest. Okay, pursue the rest. So there's something that is very clear to you, that you are very clear with, or that becomes very clear to you by way of the communication that you are making. I'm getting, that's, that's the case for the majority of you. But that, there we go. Scorpio energy coming right through for you. These cards popped out for Scorpio. In order, the higher font right next to the Empress. Okay, these two cards popped out in the deep past and recent past for Scorpio. Scorpio pulled the Four of Wands as well. I'm getting this as an after, after effect, the aftermath. There may be a water sign involved, okay, and or an Aquarius for a number of you, but I'm getting, uh, I'm getting Scorpio very strongly coming through. You have the Daughter of Pentacles that popped out that's just hanging from this Four of Wands. Libra, um, let us, though, take a look here at... Um, what is at play? Again, I am feeling Scorpio very strongly for you, be it at your own propensity. If you, if you have Scorpio prominently placed in your chart, this is speaking to your emotional propensity, okay? Your emotional propensity, and there may be a lot at, at play emotionally here, a lot at play, and a new beginning that is complete, and you're out of bounds. 
that is leaps and bounds apart from the world that you have known until the point of accepting what comes, just what comes. Without, I'm hearing um, aforementioned, without having been told right, that this is the right path, without having been, to, been told there's this feeling of, of unexpectedness that you, are, that you are siding with now, you, know, you are siding with, and that is what compels you to begin along this path in this new beginning. You have both the daughter of Pentacles and the son of Pentacles, a pair, okay, I'm hearing partners in crime, I'm also hearing partners in business, so whatever this may mean, the son sits right at the tail end of this daughter of Pentacles. There is a new beginning on the horizon here. There is a focus, though, on matters of stability, of, I'm hearing, community for a number of you, on partnership, and what creativity, and I'm hearing vision-seeking, means, okay, means, and conversely means, okay, not conversely necessarily conversely, but as a doubling over effect, as an echo, okay, means in terms of what comes when we reside in that moment of faith to create what is real to us. Okay, now the dawn of, the, of a new day, absolutely, Libra, and I'm hearing Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio over and over and over for you. Okay, and so there may be a contemplation of resources as, as, it, as, it, as it may pertain to the vision, okay, of this new world that I'm hearing that is being upheld, that's being upheld. But there's foresight in a certain way, not in terms of what you understand comes of it, but of the sheer knowing that it's this feeling of stepping into a new beginning that is the driving force. Okay, so it's not about understanding it, it's not about necessarily knowing it. It's, it's, it's um, a matter of wanting it. Okay, wanting it. Now let us um, pull the Celtic cross. I want to keep the Fool and the Mother of Cups there. Fool looking down at the whole spread. Okay, you're completely, you're, I'm hearing diaphragm, diaphragm, you're shifting, there's a, there's a shift for you, Libra, in terms of how you, um, I'm hearing communicate, specifically for some of you, about assets and resources, how you view and perceive, but specifically communicate, how you communicate, how you come to terms with, and you're almost, there's this cleansing effect, okay, let me grab a quick sip of water, Libra. There is this faith that marks this new beginning in such a such a tremendous way, in such a deep way. It's like I'm I'm going commando. Okay, I, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, I don't really know what's happening, but I'm so excited about it. It's so thrilling to me. I'm hearing thrill seeking for a number of you. It's it it it, it awakens a part of me that I knew was to be channeled in a certain way. And it may have to do with this propensity of water energy, okay? It's intuitive, intuitive guiding, okay? Guiding, guiding force. And you have the devil, okay? In reverse, you have the seven of wands in reverse. You have the seven of swords in reverse. Two sevens, and you have the high priestess, okay? In reverse, at the base of this staff. I'm getting... There is an isolating of variables and factors. There, it's almost like there are there are, there are hoops and and I'm hearing rolls and jumps that that you've got to maneuver in a certain way, but it's not daunting. It's almost like it's your playground, Libra. You're very excited about it, and it's almost like that that getting to work kind of feeling. It's like I don't know what I'm working with, but I I'm excited to figure it out. It's that kind of thing, and that's the that's the leap that we find that you're making here. Um, that it seems for you, Libra, uh, for a number of you, and it has to do with your creativity as well. Just how how you uh, feel, okay, and you act on on the feelings and the desires that you have for certain passions in life, in your life, as you may see it, as you feel it, and it speaks to the realm of um, of uh, professionalism. It speaks to the realm of career, how we deem career how we deem capacitating a sense of security into the long term, how we contribute to that. That is your focus here. Assets, financials, being a focus, absolutely. And it, it could be um, refactoring frequency. 
sequence, sequence. Okay, so it's almost like, right, this may be, um, uh, I'm hearing jump starting, jump starting vision, jump starting revi revival, the process of revival, revision of matters of career, of finances, but you're inherently taking this intuitive approach. And in um, the past readings, okay, there was this dichotomy that was laid, and yet this, at the same time, this coherency specifically for, for Pisces, and I believe it was another sign in the very recent, recent, readings, I don't recall quite uh, which sign it, it was, but um, there was this this mirroring, I'm hearing, and this channeling of energies for you specifically between the devil and the high priestess, which are interestingly polar energies. Okay, there is this fortitude to them both. They both have this direction, this this knowingness about them, okay? The devil being Capricorn's card, right? I All about success. I have this objective and I'm pursuing it. The high priestess, in terms of I, I know what is not known, what is not seen. Okay, I, I'm so solid in my groundedness of knowing what is in suspension. Okay, I'm hearing for us all. So it's this intuitive knowing, it's this oversight, Libra, that merges in a certain way with this driving force to accomplish, to act upon this knowing. In a very tangible way, I'm hearing in a resourceful way. So it's there's it's not just uh, referencing the etheric realms. It's not just an intuitive. I'm hearing bypass of frequency. I'm hearing frequency. It has a a, a, a third dimensional quality to it, meaning to it, translation to it. And your question is, what exactly do I need to come to terms with, both rationally in terms of my intellectualization of it. And to communicate clearly and to reside with, in terms of passion, what my passion is. What drives me, compels me to, to act upon what it is that I know internally and hearing frequency. Okay, so there's this action-oriented energy that's coming through for you. And it's almost like whatever has been in, I'm hearing in a state of remission, is now uh, coming up for revision. So, but you're completely shifting the way that you are approaching this Libra. And I'm hearing Capricorn. So matters of career, yet again, focus for you. Okay. The mother of wands, tremendous emphasis on manifestation potential here. Manifestation period. The potential is always there. It's a matter of moving into it. I'm hearing Scorpio and Capricorn at the same time for you. And the Son of Pentacles coming through again, as well as the Son of Cups. Face to face, okay. Very interesting. Water and earth energy in this world is the energy of this card is so momentous for you, Libra. Uh, but again, earth and water is 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 working so strongly together. Be it an individual in your midst who has these two propensities, be it your very own propensities, um, be it a referencing to matters of stability and groundedness, finances, and that of the feelings, okay, the emotions, how we emotionally move. I'm hearing ride in tandem, okay, with all parts of our being towards this point of manifestation and creation. Now, okay, let us um, get a few cards out here. Okay, so much coming out of the box for you. Libra. The point is creation. Absolutely. You have this three of wands here. It is the be all, the, the, the end all, the, the say all. Not the end all necessarily, but it is the point of reference for you. For this whole transformation change, what is the portal that we move through? Okay. And there is an emphasis on uh, partnership. Yes, we are seeing that. You have the two of cups in reverse. You have the lovers um, uh, upright that you're flying out with, flying into the tower in reverse. Uh, who who's side by side to the two of wands upright, side by side to the star, side by side to the magician in reverse. Whatever this transformation is, okay, it's a transformation of ideals, of partnership, of relationships, of harmony, of what it means to feel harmonious internally and externally. Okay, be it the relationship that we hold with ourselves, merging this the duality of self, okay, the propensity I'm getting to feel and to act for a number of you, but also right, the yin and the yang, the duplicity of the polarization of who we are. But Whatever this transformation is of emotional propensities, of emotional idealism I'm hearing, of what it means to feel emotionally satisfied and to feel the sense of release, to feel the sense of emotional release, is under transformation? Yes. Okay. 
is taking on new form and direction? Absolutely. But the transformation is one that on one hand shakes, right? Shakes the ground upon which we have previously established a sense of emotional sense of security and stability. But it's one that we have desired. So it's almost like, yeah, the tower, transformational, okay, things, th th shaking, okay, shake up. But <clears throat> there's this, um, almost this, um, this readiness for it, this, this, it's almost like so quickly what takes its place, right? So quickly what takes its place. Yeah, we're, we're moving the props off of the stage, but we're so, we're just as quickly moving new props on, on the stage, okay? And so it speaks to the, to the fundamental role on that stage that you play Libra as the creator of this emotional satisfaction, okay, of this emotional satisfaction. And it's a question of partnership. Is it, is it partnership? Is it about partnership? Or is it about, I'm hearing my personality. So themes of partnership and personality, themes of independence, I'm hearing codependence in a certain way, take it as you will. However, it resonates with you uh, personally, Libra. I mean, Scorpio, yet again, coming through for you. There's um, this, this, this focus, though, on who am I as an individual, as the creator of my world, as the capacitator of my dreams? Okay. And how does my principle of independence relate to matters of partnership, relate to this experience of experiencing emotional satisfaction, with others, I'm hearing distension, okay, distension as well, with others, in tandem, okay, and it could be, right, merging the two halves of my being, now, of your being, right, take it as you will, uh, Libra, I mean, was it Scorpio, again, um, right, it, 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 of course, general reading, it may pertain differently to everyone, so whether this is referring to you within a partnership, or you, right, within yourself, the partnership that you hold with yourself, I'm hearing sacred, sacred act, um, right, uh, uh, interpret it as as you as you do uh, personally, uh, Libra. Always heed your personal intuition. Always, always heed your personal intuition. Nonetheless, let me read all the cards off to you. You have the Daughter of Wands upright in your deep past, followed by the Son of Pentacles in reverse in your recent past, followed by the Son of Cups in reverse in your current state, the Chariot in reverse in your energetic pathway. Okay, the World upright in your advice. The Four of Swords in reverse in your near future. The Mother of Pentacles upright in your hopes and her fears. The Eight of Cups in reverse, beautiful, in your final outcome that you're leading out with. As you are, I'm hearing, throwing out, throwing out these previous uh, conceptions of what emotional satisfaction is and means and should mean in a certain way. Comes this absolute release of an emotional cycle. I'm hearing turbulent, turbulent that, that just, uh, that did not bring you to this point of feeling fully, um, I'm hearing, like the creator, the, the, um, I'm hearing supercharging, supercharging your potential, okay, so it's almost like the stagnancy of emotions now takes on this re reshaping, this reframing, this revolution, it, there's this revolutionary aspect to it, the emotional propensity, that then by way defines, redefines the way that you see yourself, the way you perceive yourself as the creator, the capacitator of your own emotional satisfaction. So there's this uprising independence. And I'm hearing Scorpio yet again, a Libra. Okay, Libra. And I'm hearing Aquarius as well, and you do have the full Aquarius. Now, you have the Nine of Cups upright in your environment sitting just above, perpendicular to this mother of wands, this creative potential. There is a dream, there's a dream, Libra, that you have held. It is about emotional renewal. The understanding that this emotional experience has been playing a part, a certain part. I understand that. And it is leading me, it has been leading me to a certain, to a certain culmination. Yes, it's been surmounting pressure as well, but it's leading to a point that is intentional, and I understand that. And it's about me. It's a reflection of me. What am I to bring and, and, and give of myself in this stage of transformation of myself? Okay, so it's a personal process. It has to do with uh, the past, absolutely, but the transmutation of the past, the understanding of what our past, the role that our past has played for us in a certain way that especially refers to matters of partnership. I'm hearing singlehood. Sing okay, single, singlehood. And um, however you take it, and um, right, this um, emotional propensity, 
the sense of emotional satisfaction by way of our interaction specifically with others. Okay. Excuse me, Libra. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, two nines, the nine of cups and the nine of wands, overlaying the six of cups in reverse. There's a reconfiguration of ideals as it pertains to how we collaborate within the emotional context. And there's this, I'm hearing this doubling over effect. There's this internalization of the, I'm hearing even the esoteric principles of this, the philosophical principles of what makes me who I am and how I give of myself in certain uh, propensities and in certain dimensions that contributes to a sense of emotional satisfaction. There's a contemplation of that. I'm hearing contemplation of resources as well, okay? And you have the Six of Pentacles here overlaying the Mother of Swords. This is your very own energy, Libra. I'm hearing Aquarius as well. So take it as you will. It may be pertaining to uh, multiple individuals. But there's a focus as well on what what is uh, what are the what are the financial bearings, okay? The strategic financial bearings that have a certain sense of a structure and organization and, and, and I'm hearing rhythm as well to them. Uh, as well, it's almost, um, right, um, uh, I'm hearing um, reasoning, a reasoning behind them that is to capacitate this new beginning. You have the Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Three, half of six. So it's like you're thinking ahead. I'm hearing you're thinking, oh, you're thinking over time. You're thinking into the future, right? Once I move through this and into this new beginning, what will the financial bearings, I'm hearing meanderings be? And in, in, in how can I lay that groundwork at the forefront, okay, before entering into this sphere? Now you have the hanged man, okay, in your uh, theme in reverse. To which point the hangman is standing straight up in its grave. Okay, there is this readiness. Whatever has been cyclical, whatever has been, I'm hearing, impending, you're now coming to, I'm hearing, it's coming to fruition and you're coming to terms with it. And it may relate to the overlapping between the uh, emotional dimension, the emotional sphere, and that which pertains to matters of career, finances, and I'm hearing networks, networks, how we are, are engaged with others in the third dimension, interconnectivity, how we all contribute to a singular mission and your collaboration very strongly coming through for you, okay? So now Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands mirroring the Hanged Man, okay? But in reverse as well. With the Two of Swords right beneath this Ace of Wands, okay? There is a driving force of potential. You get that. You get that. You've known that, okay? It's not a question of do is it potential it's a question of right um how exactly in what propensity am i to act on it at, at what time at what place that has been the question i'm getting that it's not that you 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 have wanted to just take the action it hasn't been about just the change capacitating the change you've understood that this change means something much greater within the network and the cyclical nature of it of, of the steps leading to it okay so i'm getting that whatever this past is whatever this history is and it could be emotional, it could be also financial, it could be both linked, career, finances. It has been playing a certain part and you've understood that and you've waited. You've bided your sweet time to, to the point where it would all become so clear to you that not what, 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 it, what is to happen, but that you are to accept, I'm hearing Scorpio, Libra, the change. The change, the chrysalis effect, right? And we see this, the hanged man, it's almost like a crawling out of its shell, right? Out of its, out of its own, I'm hearing, weaving, weaving. And similarly, the fool, right? It's like just the freshness of the, of the new cycle, abound, abound, I'm hearing, abound. So there, there could be, and the fool's looking down at the chariot, there could be an element of translocation, movement, change of place, okay, of the home, transformation as it pertains to uh, principles of what home life should feel like, look like, as it pertains to matters of emotional satisfaction, okay? But there's, there's this reorientation, reconfiguration. It's very, very exciting. I'm not getting that it's like a, it's an unsettling feeling. I'm not getting that. What I am getting is that it's, um, it's like spring cleaning. Okay, and this, 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 it's, there's this hustle and this bustle, and it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm moving things around, I'm changing things for the better, okay, and I knew that I would be doing this. It's expected in a certain way, it's a certain way, and there is a cyclicality to it yet again. Libra, you have, um, 
a focus on the premonition of creation, okay, that you have the daughter of wands and the mother of wands in your spread. The focus on what it is you know to be your very personal gift. I'm hearing gift of gab, communication, and again, coming through for you, the, the, the propensity to communicate and also perhaps to perform in a certain way. And before I turn on um, the camera, I was getting this, this feeling, this emphasis on singing, on singing and, and vocalism, okay? And so, right, how is it that you deliver your message? How is it that you deliver what you feel to be your very personal gifts? I'm hearing your very personal identity, your sense of identity. And how does that match up with concepts of stability, okay, that carry you into the long term? So there could have been um, a question of how do I stabilize what it is that I know? And so there's this awakening, okay, to this sort of uh, uh, identification with our potential of recognition and awareness in a very clear way of uh, what it is that we want to create in a certain propensity, but then this question of well, how do I stabilize it? How, how do I how do I give it the, the form? How do I how do I give it? I'm hearing the um, uh, the nameplate. How do I put a name and a face to it? Okay, so it's about the tangibility of it that has been the question Libra, and we have here the Son of Pentacles looking up at the a chariot. Okay, to which point it's like. The Son of Pentacles is like at the mercy of the chariot. Well, you tell me, where do we go? Okay, they're both like it's a directional energy, and right? they're both land animals moving forward. Okay, but the Son of Pentacles, right, as directive of a force it is, is is um, surrendering the direction to the chariot, who is a water card, but technically also right, having a sense of direction, directionality. By the way, this is Cancer's card, okay, in the Major Arcana. Nonetheless, the chariot is like. I don't know either. Okay, I am also surrendering to what my vision is, to what our vision is. All of me, all of you. So that, okay, uh, I'm getting Scorpio again, but so strongly here for you, Libra. Libra, Libra. It's a, it's a, there's an emphasis on community. It's not only what I see. It's not only what I, what I uh, uh, ascertain. Okay, to be the vision and the direction. It's how does the how does it embody varying perspectives and principles, okay, and truths, emotional propensities as well, the dimension to feel, okay, that um, and I'm getting psychology for a number of you, okay, I'm hearing experimental experimental psychology for a number of you um, as well, but whatever that may mean to a number of you, you have um, this open-ended sort of message okay it's like it's like well we don't know we don't we don't we, we, we don't know where we're gonna uh, set the furniture down okay but we're carrying it over here just we're gonna figure it out as we go along it's like it's that kind of thing and but it's again it's um it's a little bit cyclical because you have the son of cups looking back at the son of pentacles so they're looking at each other while the son of pentacles is technically looking up at the at the chariot it's 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 um horns are ramming into the Son of Cups. So it's a confrontational energy that, that um, may have to do with the um, uh, an individual who yet again has these two propensities within them, water and earth, very practical and also very creative, okay. And it's not a question, if that, if that resonates with you, it's not a question of them. It's not a question of where they're going and what they make of this new beginning. The point is the possibility of everything that it can be. And just siding with the sheer possibility rather than the definition of it in a certain way. Okay. But now, if this is your own propensity, I'm getting that you are led, okay, to flow with the reinvention of how you perceive emotional satisfaction and stability and it's that cyclical process it's almost like a um it's like this funneling this funneling of water down the drain i'm seeing it's like it's down a sink okay and it's just a matter of the siphoning of that of that of that understanding to the very core the nucleus the point of release of the expectation of what we find there of what we of what we identify through the process of acceptance of this new world that we're entering, 
Okay, that begins it. Now let me grab another sip of water, Libra. I'm hearing it's all on the line. Libra, it's all on the line. I'm hearing Scorpio again right right then for you. It's all on the on the horizon that lies between what you deem to be reality and the vision that you hold of what is created by way of what you see before you see it. It's all on the perforated edge between imagination and culmination of energy application of energy within the third dimension right that gives form to the imagination so you're coming to terms in other words libra with what it is that defies your capacity to i'm getting feel but also to dream and you're unhinging okay unlocking in a certain way from the certain ideals that have been set by the intellectual rational mind in a certain way or perhaps by society okay societal sort of impositions for a number of you perhaps as you may see it as you may feel it that 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 contradict this um I mean, the, the boundlessness of what we know we are here to create. And that is what is resurfacing for you, Libra. Okay. And so you have here in your hopes and your fears, mother of pentacles. There's a question. There's a question. There's a question of how to uh, uh, substantiate this image, how to uh, ground it, how to give it a form. Uh, I'm hearing a figure, a name. I'm hearing nameplate yet again. How do I, how, how do I, um, I'm hearing confront. Okay. How do I confront Perhaps it could be, um, you know, in 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 the third dimension, literally. How do I? I'm hearing. How do I um, almost translate this 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 imagination, this new found understanding, this dream, in into a, um, human relatable terms, societal understanding in a certain way, perhaps. In terms of, in terms specifically of them understanding not only what they only understand, but them understanding what is my very personal truth that they may not understand. It's just sim simply a matter of the language, of the discourse, of the relaying of that information. Okay, so there's a focus on communication, of dialogue. Okay, and I'm hearing dialect for you. So it's a matter of how this information is relayed. Not only information, but this dream, this energy, this life force, this passion, this drive, this will, this new beginning. How it's translated in the third dimension is your question. How to, right, consecrate it in a certain way and give it the form that, right, is just... Um, working in tandem with that stands in, in tandem with the feeling okay that you have for it and you have tremendous feeling for it tremendous tremendous feeling for it and you're just it's this, it's this feeling i i want to i want to relay that okay i want to relay that and for a number of you for a number of you there may be um I'm hearing, okay, I want to relay that in such a way that is understandable. Okay, I mean that that's that's tangible even. So it's almost like you want you want to accompany this understanding with a, a, a physical, uh, tangible, uh, sort of um, an emblem almost of 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 what this dream means to you, of what this feeling means to you, okay? To give it this, I'm hearing this human form, human dialect, yet again, I'm hearing for you. So to enable it to be in a way perceivable, okay? Now, for a number of you, though, this is a question of um, uh, resources, okay, of resources and how this new beginning sets me along a path that compels me to um, uphold a certain stamina, okay, of pr productivity. And so it's asking a lot of you, you understand that it's like it could be, it could be financially, um, 
I'm hearing warranting, warranting. It, it, it requires of you to maintain this sort of uh, stability, okay, that is internal. Through the process of creation, you have two mothers, mother of wands, mother of pentacles. While the mother of pentacles is, um, and while the, well, rather, while the mother of wands is dynamic, Right? The mother of pentacles is, is, in a way, about sustaining that dynamism. So it's a question of how do I sustain this dynamism through into the long term? Okay, but you're just at the edge, the beginning of this new beginning, Libra, and I'm hearing Scorpio again for you. You're just right at, at the, the threshold, I'm hearing the pinprick, okay, of, of, uh, of awakening to what this, um, I'm hearing this shadow, this shadow may, may have been in a certain way, whatever this questioning system may have been, whatever, right, this, this, um, pendulum okay of experiencing what we've known has been in a certain way you are finding the life force that compels you to align completely with what you feel you are bringing into form okay so thank you so very much again for tuning in libra have a beautiful 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 end of september beginning of october and i will see you soon for your mid-october readings notes and details on that in the description box below and in the video proceeding nonetheless i hope you have a beautiful end of september beginning of october and i highly recommend you to tune into your rising as an orange moon sign as well as oftentimes those will provide you with further insights into your situation. For example, I know that I resonate a lot with my moon sign, even more than my sun sometimes. I resonate as well with my rising ascendant here and there. So take it as you will, right? We're all different and we interact differently with our chart variables. So um, if you don't know your placements in your chart, you can calculate them via the link below in the description box that I provide. And that will compute them for you. Do keep in mind though that you need your quasi exact birth time to compute your rising ascendant and most likely perhaps not your moon okay you could potentially get your moon sign without knowing your birth time if you're born on um, a day where the moon was not changing signs okay so play around with it see what you get love and light to you on this exciting journey forward and i'll talk to you soon bye libra hi there everyone thanks so much for tuning into your video again this is a general announcement um, and it pertains to the monthly readings and mid-monthly readings, a reminder. So for this month, I'll be doing it a little differently. Usually, right, I have two um, part readings for the month. I have from the 1st to the 15th and the 15th to the 30th. So the early portion, first half of the month readings, and that which pertains to the latter half of the month readings. Okay, so for this month, I want to be able to give the bulk of my time to the general readings. Okay, and so to do that, I'm going to need to reduce the amount of energy and time that I put into the um, uh, private readings that I do and the private services and so on and so forth. So to do that, I've decided to um, make accessible the mid-monthly readings by way of subscription. Okay, and so you'll be able to access that via my website, alchemyandyou.com. Once this video goes live, it's available on the website. So you can click the link in the description box below or simply go to alchemyandyou.com and there should be a banner there at the very top. You can click that and um, subscribe for your spot to receive the mid-monthly reading, okay? And I'll be delivering that to everyone on October 11th. So um, feel free to check it out if you'd like more details. The link in the description part box below. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Loving the light to you all on this exciting journey forward. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.